that is chicken food. The chicks are on fresh grass. They're about two, two weeks, three weeks, something like that. And they look really good. Their feathers are grown well and they love this fresh grass. We had them over here. Drew's laying down newspaper. Thank you, Grandpa, for saving the papers for us. We're probably gonna take over this whole triangle of grass here to be garden. Space. I finally found the use for this tool. <laughs> Spreading mulch in teeny tiny areas. Teeny tiny jobs. <laughs> so we covered the space with newspaper and then our rabbit manure mulch. There's some dried leaves and grass and straw in there too. And food. And food and fur. <laughs> so we decided a couple of weeks ago to get mealworms because chickens love mealworms. And I learned that you can grow them and create a colony for very cheap. So free protein, free food, free minerals for the chickens based on our food scraps. Mealworms eat like potatoes and carrots and things. And so you just get like a piece of carrot and throw it in there or a piece of potato and throw it in there piece with oats, like Quaker oats. Mm. And they eat the oats. Yeah. And the mealworm turns Pupa. from Pupa. Pupa. a worm. Pupa. And then they turn into a pupa. To a pupa. Let me see Show Becca. Her. Let me see Becca. To a pupa. And then to a beetle. And when we got these mealworms, it was just like 500 worms or so. When we got them, it was just like 500 worms, and it's been a little while, and there's a whole lot of pupas in here, and there's a whole, there, I found a couple of beetles. So the beetles actually will eat the pupas, so you have to separate them out. I think later today we're going to go buy like a, a Tupperware, like a three-drawer system mm -hmm. so that we can let the baby eggs fall through so that the beetles don't eat them. So, what we're going to do today beetle. is we're going to dump out just a little bit of this stuff and then with our hands sift through it and have the kids help us pick out all of the, the pupas. worms and the pupas. Okay, so what I've read is the beetles go on top with the screen, and then they drop down, and the eggs fall through the screen, and then you have your starter worms. Meanwhile, they grow up, you take them out, and you put them in the lower bin. We already have the lower bin. And the lower bin is where you either hatch beetles or they're big enough to feed them to the animals. And then once you either hatch the beetles or feed them to the animals, you go ahead and you put this back up empty for more eggs to drop through so there's baby worms in there. So the beetles go in this, which we made, which has screen. So they'll fall through. The potatoes for moisture. They don't necessarily eat them. Okay. Well, they eat it, but it's what provides them with the water that they need. We did a whole bunch of potato and carrot scraps, and it got moldy, so just little chunks is probably fine. We separated these pupas out yesterday, and there's already a few beetles. There's one. There's another one under here, and this one is interesting. It is a pupa in the process of turning into a beetle. 
The back is still white, but his legs and head are fully formed. I grew some food for the chickens this week too. Some little sprouts. Just an assortment of sprouts, high protein food for the chickens. I've kept it under a wet, like a damp uh, paper towel in a colander so it can drain in the sink. Just hanging out, it took less than a week. I loaded up about half of the sprouts in our chicken scrap bucket to feed to the chicks and the big chickens. I'm gonna throw this in here and see how they like it. Oh, sorry, did I scare you?